Yeah, the people who would survive that kind of virus would be... My, I hate that it makes the, the knifing sound when I'm not knifing anything, because then I look to chat and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing something, and I'm just stood there, waving my, my bone knife menacingly in the air. But, uh, yeah, it would, uh, it would absolutely be, uh, be awful. You would be hooked up to so many machines in order to survive. So, a very small amount of people would. Unless, of course, you know, like I said, and, and, and indeed, even to get hooked up to that kind of machine would take time. Uh, so, odds are, it would be something that only those who knew it was coming would be able to do. Um, but beyond that, even, you would end up in a, in a position where, um, how would you do anything else? Once you were hooked up to that machine, that's it. You're not doing anything else. You're just now existing for as long as that machine runs. So the only way the human race would survive is if they could avoid contracting the disease. And I'm going to be honest, if that if the if there was a disease that lethal, and it was like communicative, I I don't think there would be much question on on like exposing yourself to it. The only people that would help you would be people in in the you know massive hazmat suits. You wouldn't it wouldn't be a case of well um, you know the NHS is going to wear PPE gear. No, it's, it, the only people that are going to take care of you are people who are guaranteed that they're not going to contract this, because once they do, that's it. Until a cure is found, that's it for them. The best they can do is survive, and it'll probably be ridiculously traumatic. It's one of the, these things, and a lot of people don't quite understand how. Uh, how traumatizing being hooked up to a ventilator is or stuff like that. It is not something you come away from without some permanent mark of it. Um, let's grab that mineral water. Dunk. And we'll leave the... Well, you know what? Let's put the fat into the uh, chest with the foodstuffs. There we go. That should do. we got loads of meat here. That's not a problem, boys. I need to go and get some uh, nitrate because to make a farm plot. Uh, yeah, it needs 17 nitrate powder. I can get everything else easily enough. And thanks to those zombie bears, I've got a lot of everything else I need. That's all I need to fit. Thank you. How's this going? Oh, it's going well. It's going to be a long, long, long while. So I'm going to put this up to half an hour. I'm going to need to grab some more trees on the way. I'm not using my med kit to fix that abrasion. Specifically because it's a it's a hell of a use of a med kit. When the amount of other things that it, that fixes, I would prefer to keep it for those. Ooh. No, I need med, I need repair kits. That's something I do need. Yes, I caught an Avac stream not long after it started. Hello, Avac and chat. Hello, Solar Lands. How are you doing, mate? Did my character level get reset from the update? Uh, no. Am I thinking about the game called Play Game? No, no, I'm not. It's, it was more of an RPG game. Uh, let's go grab... I need Forged Iron. Goodly amount of it, actually. Whew. Let's just do 100 for now. Oh, you know what? Honestly, I want all of it. So why am I waiting? Let's just grab all of that. I'm then going to need some glue. Let's see how much we've got lying around. Oh, no, duct tape. We've got 14 duct tape. That's that's good. That's really good, actually. Uh, I'll leave the glue, then. I don't need more. In fact, I'm going to leave four of this. I'll, uh, I know I'm going to be using one straight away, so actually I'll take a ladder. There we go. I need to repair my tools. We we did a lot of mining, and that was an, an opportunity for us to just talk about everything and nothing, really. And I really do relish those opportunities. That's not something I can do on YouTube at all. Oh yeah, yeah, there was a recent outbreak of bubonic plague. That's right, Lady Sheila. It's not nearly as as terrifying of a of a thing for us these days, medically speaking. That is, uh, you know, it's, it's quite treatable from what I understand. But yeah, that that was a bit a bit wild. It's always scary when something that you think that well we we already we already sorted that out we we already overcame that hurdle that boss was defeated and then all of a sudden it's like no no it's respawned how why okay. 
we go. I mean, that's the, the bubonic plague thing. I mean, not to downplay how bad it was for people who caused it um, recently. Before, before people like, oh, wait, this is the, oh, right, okay, we need to deal with this sort of thing. Kicked in and then, you know, it was dealt with. It was probably wretched. But that was definitely a case of, yeah, we've progressed in the game now. We've got better gear. We understand how to parry and dodge a little bit better. I already know this boss's moveset. So, eh, honestly, this can now just become uh, a irregular but common common mob now. Eh, I don't want to see it everywhere, but eh, it's okay. You know, if the, if the Capra Demons are more common, it's not really going to bother me too much. I feel that I can deal with them. Even maybe two at a time, perhaps. But some things that come back, it's much more like, yeah, you fought the demon at the asylum once. <laughs> you go back there and fight the other demon, though. That is not good. That is really bad. That's like 52 death montage bad. You are not ready. No one is ready. Man, I had fun making that death montage in in Dark Souls. That was that was the first time. I think I think as much as I say, you know, I like editing in my YouTube videos, and this is why I don't ever want to stop doing YouTube. It's why I'm still excited about YouTube, and I know that sounds weird, especially to some of of my my peers uh, amongst you know content creator circles, because they they feel that editing is the devil. A rumor is a good case of that. It literally says editing is the devil, but I find it really fun. And I think that's the first point where I realized that I found it fun. Was when I was doing that, I was like, you know, I'm sat here literally making a video of 52 deaths into a massive montage reel of just the killing blow killing me. That was the first, I think, uh, was Dark Souls? Well, Dark Souls was technically the second and the third. It kind of sh shared the spot with um, the uh, XCOM remake by Firaxis. Um, in terms of where I played that chronologically on my channel. Uh, Faster Than Light was the first one. But that one, that was the point where I was like, yeah, I'm not like other people. <laughs> I imagine... <laughs> uh, like in my head, kind of now, this is, this is how serial killers realize that they're just not wired the same way <laughs> as other folks. Like, yeah, you know. We'll get some lovely iron bars in there and it's going to look great. Oh, this makes it so much faster. Ugh. Nail gun, early find. So amazing. Hi Lord, oh, hello. Hi Lord uh, Talkman, how are you doing? I should not reach out while I'm climbing the ladder. That was silly. Okay, now this kind of introduces a flaw. It's a defensive problem because it means my, my wall needs to be taller in order to deal with this, which I'm not huge on. Yes, Demi of Derp. I, I didn't know that either. Linear J showed me that. There we go. I, I like to use them until they, they literally break before I repair them to save on resources. I'm still not at the point where I'm, I feel so flush with resources that I'm like, yeah, no, that doesn't matter. Now, though. Now, though, now, though, now, though. How are we going to deal with this? Because I want this to be a, a corner point. I really do. You know what? We can make this like a support and it'll look really good still. It's not gonna it's not gonna function particularly well, but it'll be a little bit less of an issue for us if I make the, the jump steeper. Yeah, 
Wait, wood to cobble is old thing. How did you not know it? Oh, well, I knew that wood to cobble was a thing. I didn't realize that wood to cobble used less cobble. I assumed it used just as much. And I also assumed that the EXP worked out to the same. I no longer think that's the case. Lord Dogman, I'm great, man. Thank you. Just finished your Kaplerth co-op with Wanda while I made some manual repetitive work. I love those co-ops with Wanda. I'm glad you enjoy it. I really enjoy it as well. Though I, I am aware that, that Wanda, Wanda spends a lot of time in the co-ops talking about other stuff, so it does feel a little bit more like a podcast sometimes. And that isn't, that isn't uh, something I dislike, but it is something I need to be aware of. Because while I'm playing the game and he'll ask me some question about my childhood or, or my, my schooling or something like that. And then I'm going back through editing and I'm like, wow. I spent 20 minutes ask, answering his question and I did nothing in the game. I literally stayed at my inventory the entire time. Oh my lord. I need to get better at remembering. Yeah, I'm still playing this. It feels like a podcast, but it is not. You know what? I'm thinking that I might even have wanted co <laughs> I may still have wanted that uh, that flat section there. I'm not sure. We'll have a thing. We'll have a thing. I need to eat, though. And you know what? I need to eat enough that I'm going to move that down onto my hotbar. Uh, we're going to place this down there as well. That is the shape that I want, which is good. Can we get you to... Uh, well, actually, no. I need that rotated to the steep edge. There we go. What do you think, champ? Is that going to look good? I think it will. I'm not going to upgrade it yet, though. We're going to have a look at that. Whoop! Uh, next, I want a very sharp corner. Oh, no. Do we not have any sharp corners? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. We may be able to rescue this situation because we've got a wider array of shapes for wood. Yeah. Come on now, don't be don't be a scallywag. You know what I want. Can I upgrade that to carbon? Ah, oh, poop. Really? I can't upgrade it though. Ugh. I'm fairly certain that you can get more shapes out of cobble than I've got right now. Uh, I'm not sure about it. But what I was thinking was this, that I could then have this up here, like that, to create an, an interesting looking shape there. I'm just not sure if there is ever a a shape for cobble that'll fit that. So I'm not seeing it in here if there is. This is kind of what I want, but I want it slanted. I know that certain workbenches give you additional choices when it comes to shapes. So I'm going to hold out for that. Now, how does that look is the question. Would this be better as just a slanted block? Or do I like that little mini angular arch? I could even have a regular arch, but then I don't think that would work as well because that's too angular. What are your thoughts, chat? Share them with me. Uh, we will consider where we go with that in a moment. Let's get down here. Because ultimately, I need to be able to do all of these walls quickly. Because if I can't get all of them done, there's no point in doing any of them. Okay, Demi of Derp thinks it looks good. 
Is that pseudo curve going to be an on ramp for zombies? See, that's that's the worry. Uh, but I am going to have overhangs at the top, much like that one there, because I I need overhangs no matter what to, as a spider defense. So my hope is that coming up here, they will basically butt into the upper restrictions. But it is still going to introduce a bit of weakness there. And there's... Well, there's no getting around that, so... I'm really not sure on it. Really not sure. It still have to go through through the defences here, but... Yeah. There is the problem. That That is uh, that is my, my worry. Is that effectively is going to be an on-ramp for the zombies to get up onto the walls. Oh, really? They, they removed all of the extra shapes from table saws because no one used them. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, it's a sign. It's a sign of the times. Sign of the times. Not enough people cared about the, the, the way their base looked. They only cared if it stopped the zombies. What has humanity become? Now, as for ways in, what I'm likely going to do is, while I have this as a bridge over there, I'm going to build another one of these, a little bit less decorative, over here as a way to get up there. And then this ladder is going to move back to the second one. So basically, to enter this base, you're going to have to climb a tower that's around here, leap across to this one, it's going to have a similar overhang at this side as well. And all of these sides will have similar overhangs. And then, you know, jump down and then you patrol the interior, shooting zombies through these, these grates. Once it looks like the zombies are going to get through, there will be a ladder at the back here to climb back up or, or, or somewhere along the walls, somewhere possibly on the sides, actually. Uh, to get back up, then you run around the ramparts over to this point. Then you leap across to the central tower. And this way, the uh, the fort grows ever stronger over time. It gets better and better and better by adding con uh, additional rings of defense. Pretty much, this, I am taking an enormous amount of inspiration, as you can probably already tell, from the from the castles of my youth. Specifically the one that, that I, I grew up basically living in. Uh, I, f I forget the English word for the for the design type. Um, it was more common of uh, British and European castles than than like um, castle elsewhere. Uh, pretty much something that you generally only found in in military castles, like forts, rather than palatial castles. Though you did see them to some degrees in palatial castles, but uh, the whole idea of the inner keep and then the the outer wall and then maybe an other outer wall kind of the concentric circles sort of thing um that, that organically developed over time the keep was built first and then the keep was expanded a little bit but then they, when when the the significance of that location for a fort became more obvious then it would have a larger garrison bigger than would be able to stay in a single house because um, typically the keeps were just very large houses for all intents and purposes. They they might be expanded with turrets here and there for defensive purposes. If it if it was, you know, maybe he was guarding some farmland or something like that. But then, well, actually, this is now guarding the farmland and possibly other interests across several valleys. So we want uh, more here. We want a sizable garrison. Um, and then as 
as it became more of a concern and more of a seat of power for the local region, then you also needed to start thinking of, it's not just where we put our troops until we need them, it's also now a place where it might legitimately come under attack. So at that point, you need to start fortifying it and start redesigning it with a mind to prevent um, to to prevent uh, hostiles from from actually breaking in and uh, killing everyone, um, or be, uh, well, actually more more was often the case. Just preventing the defenders from coming out. There were a lot of sieges in history that had nothing to do with taking the castle and everything to do with raiding all of the places around the castle because the defenders were basically stuck in the castle because you know fighting your way out is a pretty bad battle when you can just stay inside and pretty much last until the end days. Um, so, yeah. And uh, the second castle I grew up around because I moved towns and pretty much... There were so many castles in Wales because the English feared us. The second castle I grew up around was one of the larger examples of this particular design of castle um, in the world, as it happens. And I would like frames. It projected a lot of military power across a very large area. It took a long time to build, too. Like, almost all of the quarries around that part of Wales were made to, like, within, within you know, several valleys worth, were there to supply materials to build that castle over over the years that it, that it, that it you know, was built and then expanded upon, then expanded upon more, then turned into a much larger military fort and so on, so forth, so on, so forth. But we have finally got the skill points that I needed. Intelligence. I'm going to be a dullard. That, that doesn't sound like a good thing, but okay. Grease monkey, bicycle mechanic, fantastic. We can now make bikes. I'm so happy. Right, I need a workshop for it, but uh, we can do that. We have access to one. And now we want to make those shapes. I wonder if I've got those shapes in wood. I should do. Yeah, may as well, I suppose. Uh, make sure that we're adjusting this automatically. Tonk. And I think, one, two, yeah. Tonk. Tonk. And tonk. there we are. Now, first off, I'm just going to build this. We have not had much trouble with spiders yet. We will have trouble with spiders. That is a certainty. But for now, I just want to get the, uh, the keep enclosed, if you will. Geefy. Oh, I could play my own single player game of this before I'm due to play with a friend, but daytime Avax streams are so weird. They are, they are. You should catch them when you can. You don't know when the next one is going to roll around. That's a very high tea. What on earth has happened to this world? Why is the moon so big in the sky? Are we hurtling to, is that even the moon? Is that another planet looming toward us? Are we actually in the darkest of timelines? The earth is about to be, be annihilated. Uh, honestly, at this point, with, with anything like th that close, the tides would be messed up. Uh, the whole world would be tearing itself apart. All sorts of things would be going horribly wrong. Oh, hello. Whoop. Hi. Come back here, you. No escaping. That's right. Over here. Also you. I shot him. To the point that he straight up lost his uh, lost his legs. That should have been the spine. I think I may have. No, I shot him in the leg. I shot his leg off. I mean, to be fair, he's a zombie, so... You know, it's not unreasonable to assume. 
They'd be deeply broken. Any sound. Hey, bonk. That was an opportunity to get some EXP, but unfortunately, my traps stole all of the EXP from me. Much sadness. But we have got loot. All right. Nine forged iron. That's actually not bad loot. Not gonna lie, that's that's actually good. Ah. Okay. I am still wondering about this. Though. That's far too aggressive of a curve. I feel it's too aggressive of a curve. Maybe if I replace that with this, going in that direction, and then another one building up. I don't know. Or I could just remove it entirely and just have uh, more of a kind of uh, support pillar kind of look to it. Maybe. Maybe. We, maybe we could have uh, more of a, a turret kind of uh, circular feel. It's never going to be circular, but it, it could stand out a little bit. And have a bit of a, a more interesting feel. Right, I do like the idea of having having something to mark the corners. But I'm not going to upgrade on that side yet. I will dig away the part that is obviously going to be taken away from it, though. Um, this part here. That has to go, no matter what. So I may as well get that one done. But I'm not sure what we're going to do with that yet. Hello. Oh, I just assumed you were playing since last night, um, but it is actually a day stream. <laughs> yeah, it is actually a day stream. I started in the day, yeah. Okay. There we are. Perfect. Um, you know what? Maybe since we've already got the arch here, we could do something with arches on this side. Ooh, I like that idea actually. I like that idea quite a lot. We'll have a think. We'll have a think of uh, what we're going to do with that. For now, let's just get this up to cobble. So that's what it needs to be. And then we basically need a whole wall all the way across with one space. Base for stairs up to the wall on the inside, only on the inside, mind you, not on the outside. We're gonna have another, um, like point where I can jump onto the central tower on its opposite face. Put all of these in place, I'll take this away. Once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and... Like, once this knight is gone... Well, actually, let's have a look. How long have I been recording? I've actually been recording for a while. You know what? It's, it's, it's midnight. For those of you in chat who have been very patient, but uh, very, very eager to have a bit of a, bit of a stretch, you know, I'm going to just finish cobbling this line here. Then we're going to go and have a few minute break. Thankfully, Lady Sheila has already given me uh, given me a drink, so I'm not going to need to go away for that specifically, but it's still probably worth getting up, moving around a little bit. It's not too good for you to sit still for too long. I need to get a standing desk, really. But uh, Honestly, I'm not sure I would ever be able to do a standing desk justice. Not like Cringer and his doobie-doo song. I would need to do a doobie-doo song, but I just don't think I'm up to it. We'll have to see. But first... Uh, oh, wait, my stamina is way too low. Uh, whoop! There we are. Okay. We are going to be over here. If I die to a vulture... I had a good life. We will 
can be hidden underneath this candle where I'm really not hidden at all. Mind you, I'm actually reasonably hidden when I turn my light off. Okay, we're going to go for a five minute break. Time for you to stretch your legs, grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever you need to do, and we will meet back here very, very soon. Indeed. Let me get the uh, tea break screen up. Make sure it's actually set to five minutes, not 15, because that's a very long break. There we are. And... Donk. Okay. I'll meet you back here shortly. <laughs>